Hi, this is Alex, and we're in Miami at Web Congress, and right now we're talking social media optimization. How are you doing, Jonathan? Fantastic. How Jonathan, are you? why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Uh, well, my name's Jonathan Brownfield. I started, at, I'm the CEO and founder of Lyft Social Media Communication. And when I say social media, it's really not about social media. It's all about communicating. It's about communicating the right message to the right audience at the right time. So it's really just, you know, engaging with them and developing a relevant message for your audience. So when you're when you're setting up social media for your clients, whether it's you know Facebook or Twitter, how are you getting them to not do push marketing and really go ahead and take the extra step to actually engage? Well, that's the real challenge about it, and mm -hmm. that that's what that's where the real work actually is. Mm -hmm. Because with social media, it's a matter of you know finding that audience. So if you can target them and jump into those conversations, or you create really compelling pieces of content that are going to create an emotional connection between. Um, you and your brand and your audience, then it's going to develop those relationships and they're going to build trust, and that trust is going to lead to sales and driving traffic to your website. So how, uh, when, they're, when they're doing the actual discovery phase, before they like, start tweeting, tweeting or doing Facebook, is there any best practices that, that you show them how to do like, you know, tw the right kind of Twitter searches or follow the hashtag instead of trying to create their own hashtag? Yeah. So uh, give us some of uh, those t tips for uh, best practices. Well, there's a lot of market research involved before you even launch. Just mm -hmm. like anything, if you launch a business, you want to find out and make sure there's a relevant audience. So what we do is we go ahead and we find what our audience is saying and then how we could potentially engage with them and what hashtags they're using. So um, you first start with the obvious hashtags mm -hmm. um, that people are using in your industry, and then you start following people who are using those and seeing what other hashtags they're using. And then really just look at the profile data, both on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and try and develop almost a profile for your target audience. And let's say that your audience is you know, a million people or the entire United States. You want to go ahead and you want to um, profile those in individual categories. And how are you uh, attributing, are you using some type of software to attribute uh, a revenue or goal to, to social media? Uh, are you using like HubSpot or Hootsuite or what type of software do you use? Um, it really depends on the goal for the client. Right. Some of them just want brand awareness. Some of them want to know how many games they're selling per month. Some of them want to know, um, you know, just that their message is getting out there to the, you know, a few key people to either drive a vote or drive a bottom line or make a decision. So we use Sprout, we use uh, Mixpanel, we use a number of different uh, platforms. Oh, that's really interesting, yeah. Uh, there's, th people are doing it so many different ways, I, I, I guess. Um, wh where do you see the future of social media going? Um, is there, content marketing is like the biggest buzz right now, so how do you, <laughs> create great content, engage in social media, where, where do you see it going? Well, I see content as being you know, one of the keys, because mm -hmm. now essentially every brand is their own publication. Mm -hmm. It's their own People Magazine, Time Magazine, Sports Illustrated, whatever you want it to be. It's your own voice. And so if you create content that your, your audience is gonna love, they're gonna build that trust. In addition, it's all about the engagement, it's a two-way communication, two-way communication with social media. So that's kind of the key thing behind it as well, is that before traditional media, this is a one-way conversation. Mm -hmm. Now you get audience feedback, and you can develop those relationships, and you can find out your customers' needs and address them. Yeah, yeah, it's um, you know getting that discovery phase, and then really figuring out how to, to market to that right client is is probably the toughest part. And then, and then once you kind of get that 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 sweet sauce to to figure out how to really engage with them, you can really build on from there. So are you? Um, directing a lot of that, that those campaigns to like landing pages or is it directly going into Facebook? You know, what type of engagement are you doing post-click? I mean, really, um, well, post-click a lot of times it is transferring to the landing page. Right. Or let's say we create a really compelling YouTube video that's going to share a message. It's a matter of driving traffic to that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's really just monitoring what people are saying about the brand and making sure it is a very positive message. And if it isn't, you know, how can we turn that into a positive experience? Right. Yeah, how do you get them to really, uh, you know, take that word of mouth, I guess, word of mouth marketing and take it to the next level? Is, uh, is there a way to, you know, I guess my goal essentially would be to build the lifetime value of that yeah. customer. You know, uh, how do you get people to talk about you without you asking them? I guess that's my question. 
Well, that's a million dollar question. <laughs> but I think the easiest way is to build brand loyalists and right. ambassadors. Yeah. If you first target, you know, four or five people that really love your brand and love your product, they're going to tell everyone in the universe. Mm -hmm. So it's really not about how many people you can reach with one single tweet. It's how many people that your audience can reach. Because if they retweet your message or they share your message on Facebook, their whole audience comes to know and love it, and it'll exponentially grow your brand. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. So let's uh, let's close by telling people how they can find out about your company. And get a liftsocialmedia.com, or email me Jonathan at liftsocialmedia.com, or follow us on Facebook, Lift Social Media. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. Thank you. Awesome. Marketing optimization podcast with Alex Designs.